If you want to make an explainer video, a trailer for your podcast, or just something cool with character animation, it may seem complicated, but this product with Adobe makes that very simple and fun. Hi, I'm Daniel J. Lewis from the AudacityPodcast.com. I'm at NAB Show 2016 with Dave from Adobe. And Dave, tell me about Adobe Character Animator. Yeah, sure. So uh, Adobe Character Animator is a really easy way to create any Photoshop or Illustrator file. If you name the layers, layers a certain way, it will create an animated character. So as we're seeing here, well, actually, you're controlling the character right now. So as you move your head around, the character moves. Move your eyebrows and your pupils. You can blink. The character is reacting to it automatically. And the reason it's doing that, this is just a standard webcam up here, um, and we're doing some tracking dots on your face right there. That nightmarish image is what's controlling everything. Uh, and the voice is automatically doing it too. So this is actually the voice input, but it's doing automatic lip sync. It's switching between 11 different mouth shapes uh, to say ah, ee, ooh, all that stuff. Um, and so the only, the way that this is rigged up is you go into, so I imported this character from an Illustrator file. And then I named the layers a certain way. So anything in a head group, for example, is going to move when you move your head. Uh, if I call this an ah mouth, that's going to show up when it hears me say ah, left pupil, right pupil, all that different stuff. Now, if you don't name it the right way, that's OK, because we have a tagging system that's new in uh, the latest version. So if this is layer 472, final, final, for real this time, you can change that to right pupil if you want to, just by clicking this and tagging it. Um, and so all that, it does all the calculations and it puts it all together and uh, figures it out. So to get that character to be able to animate, yes. uh, we may be able to draw it ourselves or maybe we hire someone to draw it, but how do we get the different mouth, mouth shapes that we need to use or the different eye shapes or head shapes, that kind of stuff? Sure. What do we need to do for that? Sure. So what I would say is there's a ton of example files that are part of Character Animator. So I would go to the Welcome panel. Uh, there's a new puppet in Photoshop or Illustrator is going to open up this blue guy as a uh, as a template that has all the layers named the right way. So you can use that as a starting point and use those mouths and eyes, um, and or go to video tutorials. And this has a ton of uh, tutorials about uh, all sorts of things, and all of these have example puppets that you can use as well. So you could download any of these characters you see here. So if you want a three-eyed monster with three tentacles, there's probably a puppet out there that you can use as an example. Um, and so this is a hand-drawn mouse style. This is, you know, a, a more vector mouse style. Um, this is a stop-motion cucumber where you took photos of all the different mouths and put them together. So there's a lot of different ways you can do that. Um, I would say start with a template character, see how that kind of works, if that will work for you, and then you can just drag it from a Photoshop file into your Photoshop file if you wanted to use this mouth or use this eye for your character. So we have to get different pictures of the mouths and other things in different positions, but then Adobe Character Animator is making the automation of those different uses exactly. for us. Exactly, exactly, right. So uh, let's go to a slightly different character here, um, Cassandra. So the audio is coming through here, and as I'm doing that, it's on the fly listening to what I'm saying and saying, okay, what voice, uh, you know, what sound should I do at this particular time? So when I'm quiet, it's not gonna say anything. And when it starts talking, it's going to try to do the best. Now, there's some ways in post-processing, and you could fix that. So if it has a shape that you don't like, or you want to edit or swap something else in, you can totally do that um, as well. And you were talking about uh, a podcast specifically, where you might have audio that's already coming from a podcast, and you want to do something about that. So uh, this Red Monster guy, um, let's go back to him. I brought in a speech from Obama, uh, from his DNC speech. And what you can do is, with that character selected, I just brought it in as a WAV file up here. I dragged it into my scene. It's showing up here. So with my character selected, I'm going to go to Timeline. Uh, let's see, what's going on here? Timeline, Compute Lip Sync from Scene Audio. And that's going to analyze that track and give me the right mouth shapes for that Obama speech. And so uh, it's going to go through that. So if you have a podcast or pre-recorded audio, that's fine. You can bring that in and then assign it to uh, you know whatever character you want. So hopefully, uh, if this works correctly, uh, I'll turn off the microphone and lip sync um, behavior so we can watch this. But uh, let's see if this works. It's an honor for me because, let's face it, my presence on this stage is pretty unlikely. My father was a foreign student, born and raised in a small village in Kenya. 
So you could take audio like that and do it. And I actually did a whole cartoon just like this, uh, uh, which I took from the uh, We Have Concerns podcast, where I took uh, to kind of two individual performers, I turned them into a blue and uh, red monster, and uh, kind of had them talking together. Now, the way I did this was I created each of these as their own uh, characters in Character Animator and then composited them in After Effects. So all the camera changes you're seeing here, all that stuff. But the coolest part is this is a two-minute video. This took me like two days to do. So really quick, really simple workflow and all performance. No keyframes or complicated rigging systems. It was a really quick and fun process to kind of be acting these guys out and, and put it together. That is amazing. Now, in this video that you showed, yeah. uh, there's facial animation as well as body animation. Yes. So what abilities do we have for animating bodies, arms, limbs, that kind of thing? Sure. So uh, with any character, you have the ability to uh, add different parts of the limbs. So you can say in the, uh, in the import process, we have some tools in what we call the puppet panel. So this girl, for example, if I go in here, I see that I've drawn sticks in her arms where her bones would be, and that's just using this little tool down here, the stick tool, which draws basically a really quick bone structure. And then in her hands, I added what we call draggable handles, which means I can drag this with a mouse or fingers on a touch-enabled device. Um, same thing with her hair. I added little physics things to make that sway around. So there's a lot of extra stuff you can add in that panel, but that allows me to do stuff like this where I'm moving around. And and then some of those different facial expressions are done through keyboard triggers. So I can do this through the keyboard, or uh, we've even like hooked it up to a PlayStation uh, or Xbox controller, where you can add these different things and facial features. Um, where oh, I turned the lip sync off, so let me turn that back on. Um, so as I'm moving around and doing stuff, I can you know have her have these different eyes. Oh, I'm so bored with NAB, you know that sort of thing. Uh, and then you can switch hand positions too. So if I want to give her the thumbs up, combine these. Yay! that sort of thing, you can do that. Um, so this allows you a way to really quickly create a live performance. And luckily, you don't have to do it all right on the first try, too, because all these red dots means these are arms for recording uh, down here. So if I uh, turned off dragger, that means I can just focus on my face performance and slowly layer a performance and make it uh, as perfect as possible. Wow. And then you have full control to tweak these afterward. And uh, so... We can do this with a webcam, we can do it with a video, uh, pre-recorded video, yes. pre-recorded audio, layer this stuff together. How do we get this? Adobe Character yeah. Animator. <laughs> so it's kind of been flying under the radar for a while. If you have After Effects, you already have Character Animator. Um, so if I go to uh, fi After Effects, File, Open Adobe Character Animator, there it is. Now we're still in a preview phase, a beta phase, we're not a 1.0 yet, so there's still some kinks we're working out. But um, this is how you access it. We've got a great uh, community that's uh, given us tons of feedback on how to make it even better. Uh, but yeah, you can just get it, open Character Animator, it'll show up. Um, and it's still its own desktop icon, but you're not going to find it in like this menu, for Creative Cloud menu. Just download After Effects and you've got it already. So this gives you amazing quality character animation in a fraction of the time. I've tried to do character animation before, tried. And I gave up after a few weeks of working on it because it's complicated. This looks great, and it could be really inexpensive. Even if you're not an artist to be able to draw these things yourself, you could hire someone, send them photos of yourself, or ask them for these different mouth positions, put all of this into Character Animator, and then you could have an unlimited number of animations. And it's included with your Adobe Creative Cloud suite, which you know I recommend Adobe Creative Cloud. So find the links to this as well as some more information below this video. From NAB Show 2016, I'm Daniel J. Lewis. Thanks for watching.